The CAM105 Cellular Activity Monitor is a handheld multiband cellular signal detector ready for the latest generation of 4G devices as well as existing 2G and 3G plus Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices. It will detect GSM 2G, UMTS 3G and 4G LTE as well as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and 2.4 GHz devices enabling it to detect smartphones, mobile phones, GSM trackers, GSM bugs and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi devices. It will detect cellular bands 800, 900, 1800, 2100 and 2.6 GHz giving it full cellular coverage. It features a separate 2400 MHz band detector for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and video. It features an event log that records date, time and detected band duration and signal strength of up to 4000 events. The log can be viewed on screen and downloaded to USB stick for storage or viewing on a computer. Graph mode plots real-time or historical graph of all detected cellular bands. It also features a 3.5 inch colour TFT display with easy to use menu driven operation, audible signal strength beep and silent vibrate modes. The product is housed in a machined aluminium enclosure for maximum durability, has an internal lithium polymer battery pack with a charger supplied and the whole package is supplied in a heavy duty military standard carry case. Inside the package we have the main CAM105W unit, we have the detachable antenna, we have the charger with international connectors for the United Kingdom, United States and Europe. The whole package is supplied in a military standard protective carry case. So here we have the main product screen. At the top left you have the time, on the right you have the battery level indicator and just next to that you have the sensitivity which is currently set to maximum. There are five signal bands which cover all the cellular bands, that's 900, 1800, 2100, 800 and 2600 megahertz. On the right of the screen you will see the latest event that was detected with an event number, the time of the event, the duration, the signal strength and the band. So the last signal was detected at 2.29 p.m. We had a duration of four seconds, a signal strength of 20, which is maximum, and was on the cellular band 800 megahertz. So here we have the unit picking up a signal from a mobile phone. The signal, as you can see, is transmitting on 800 megahertz, which is 4G. It's a very strong signal because the phone is just next to the unit and it's being recorded as event number 131. The event started at 2.33 and the duration is currently 53 seconds and counting and it's up to signal strength 20 and band 800 megahertz. So if we go up to the graph screen, we can see on the left hand side the five cellular bands and the start time is 2.35, the end time is 2.43. So we have an eight minute live scan of all the signals going across from left to right. You can see we're already having a signal plotted on 800 megahertz, which is from the mobile phone, which is just next to me. The other bands at the moment remain clear. So you have a live pulsing signal all the way along over an eight minute span. So here we have a vehicle tracker, which is GSM based. So this signal will be transmitting pulsed signals that can be detected by the CAM 105W. So we've just powered the unit on the tracker and you can see it's just starting up and you'll see on 900 megahertz we're already picking up the signal from the tracker. It's just finding its network. If we go up to the graph screen you can see the signal being plotted on the top of the screen here moving from left to right and that will actually show you the pulsed transmissions from the trackers over time. Over eight minutes you will see as the tracker transmits and stops transmitting, it will create lines across the screen here. So as you can see now, the tracker has been on for about two or three minutes. And if you look at the screen on the top on the 900 megahertz band, which is the band the tracker is transmitting on, you can see the pulses from the tracker with small gaps in between where the tracker is not transmitting and the white lines where the tracker is transmitting. That's how you identify that a signal is from a pulsing device such as a GPS tracker. So this is the 2.4 gigahertz screen. On the left hand side you have the live signal strength which is currently coming from the Wi-Fi routers in the area we are detecting at the moment. It will also identify Bluetooth signals, 
video audio continuous signals and again the 2.4 devices on Wi-Fi like we're detecting now. As you can see we're getting a small trace here from the Wi-Fi router that is about 10 meters away from us at the moment that we're detecting. If we introduce a 2.4 gigahertz wireless video camera, switch the power on, you'll see immediately the signal strength has gone up and we're now detecting the signal along the base of the screen. It's showing we have a strong signal on video audio continuous. That's coming from this video camera. If I switch the power off on the video camera, the signal will disappear and we just remain detecting the Wi-Fi signal only and we've now lost the video signal there. So here we have the settings menu and we have an option to go back to the main screen, power off, set time and date, beep on off, that's an audible signal strength beep. We have a vibrate on off, that's a vibration signal strength for silent use. We have another way to enter the detected signals log and the, finally the button to erase the log from the internal memory. So on this side of the unit we have the 5 volt charge socket with the charging LEDs in red and green and on the other side of the unit we have the socket for the USB stick to enable you to store all detected scans for viewing at a later stage.